type in your name and click OK. <laughs> it looks like you've Choose a level and we'll be ready to play. Easy. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth. <laughs> and this is my dog, Clifford. <laughs> Clifford loves Birdwell Island. And you will too. There are so many fun games and people to visit. Clifford loves helping his friends, <laughs> even if things sometimes go wrong. Oh, see the prize tickets? After helping his friends and playing games, you get a ticket. After you have six prize tickets, you and Clifford can visit the prize booth to get a Clifford surprise. You can keep stuff that you earn here as you play. This bookshelf is where you can keep the books you'll earn. In the toy box, you can keep prizes that you win. If you click on any letter of the alphabet, you can hear a mini lesson on that letter. If you click on the map on my wall, you'll be able to visit different places on Birdwell Island. Before we explore the island, let's play with some letters. This will make the games more fun for you. We're going to learn about these six letters. A, C, M, N, R, and T. Here's the letter A. This is a capital A. And here's a small a. It stands for the sound a, as in the word apple. Let's say a. A. Another word that begins with the a sound is ant. Time for the next letter. It's the letter C. A capital C and a small c. The letter C stands for the k sound, as in cat. Other words that have the k sound are cup and cot. You're doing a great job listening. Here is the next letter. <laughs> this is the letter M. This is a capital M, and this is a small m. The letter M stands for the M sound, as in mat. Can you say M? M. Some other words that have the M sound are map and mug. Here's another letter. This is the letter N. A capital N and a small N. The letter N stands for the N sound, as in nest. Can you say n? Mm? Mm. Some other words that begin with the n sound are nut and nap. Ready for another letter? Here it comes. It's the letter R. This is a capital R, and this is a small r. The letter R stands for the r sound, as in rat. Another word that starts with the er sound is rabbit. Time for the next letter. This is the letter T. Here's a capital T and here's a small t. The letter T stands for the t sound in top. Let's say t. t. Some other words that start with the t sound are ten and tip. Here are the letters that we know. M, C, R, A, T, and N. If we put the A and the T together, it makes the sound at. Here are words we can read. M, at, mat, k, at, cat, r, at, rat. Now, if we put the A and the N together, it makes the sound an. Then we can read these words. M, an, man, k, an, can, r, an, ran. Let's go explore the island and see if these new words can help us. Here's the letter A. This is a capital A, and here's a small a. It stands for the sound a, as in the word apple. Let's say a. A. 
Another word that begins with the ah sound is ant. Clifford's thinking of the letter B. This is a capital B, and this is a small b. The letter B stands for the b sound, as in bed. Can you say b? b? Some other words that have the b sound are box and bag. It's the letter C, a capital C and a small c. The letter C stands for the k sound, as in cat. Other words that have the k sound are cup and cot. Now, here's the letter D. This is a capital D and a small d. It stands for the sound d, as in the word dog. Let's say d, d. Other words that begin with the d sound are dad and dot. It's the letter E. This is a capital E, and this is a small e. The letter E stands for the e sound, as in elf. Let's say e. Eh. Another word that has the e eh sound is egg. It's the letter F. This is a capital F and this is a small f. The letter F stands for the f sound, as in the word fan. Let's say f. f. Some other words that have the f sound are fig and fox. Here's the letter G. This is a capital G and this is a small g. The letter G stands for the g sound, as in gum. Can you say g? g. Some other words that start with the g sound are gas and gift. This is the letter H. This is the capital H, and this is a small h. The letter H stands for the h sound, as in hat. Can you say h, h? Some other words that have the h sound are hen and hop. Here's a capital I, and here's a small i. It stands for the sound I, as in the word ink. Let's all say I. I. Another word that begins with the I sound is in. This is the letter J. A capital J and a small j. The letter J stands for the J sound, as in jam. Can you say J? J. Some words that start with the J sound are jet and jug. Now, here's the letter K. This is a capital K, and this is a small K. The letter K stands for the K sound, as in kid. Let's say k, k. Some words that have the k sound are kangaroo and kitten. This is the letter L. This is a capital L and this is a small L. The letter L stands for the l sound, as in leg. 
Can you say ooh? Ooh. Some other words that have the ooh sound are lamp and log. This is the letter M. This is a capital M, and this is a small M. The letter M stands for the m sound, as in mat. Can you say m? M. Some other words that have the m sound are map and mug. This is the letter N. A capital N and a small N. The letter N stands for the N sound, as in nest. Can you say N? N. Some other words that begin with the N sound are nut and nap. Here's the letter O. This is a capital O, and this is a small O. The letter O stands for the ah sound, as in off. Can you say ah? Ah. Some words that start with the ah sound are octopus and ox. Let's play another game. Now what is Clifford thinking? It's the letter P. This is a capital P, and this is a small p. The letter P stands for the p sound, as in pig. Let's say p, p. Some words that have the p sound are pet and pin. This is a capital Q, and this is a small q. The letter Q and U together stand for the qu sound in quilt. Can you say qu? Qu. Some words that start with the qu sound are queen and quack. It's the letter R. This is a capital R, and this is a small r. The letter R stands for the r sound, as in rat. Another word that starts with the r sound is rabbit. It's the letter S, a capital S and a small s. The letter S stands for the s sound, as in sun. Can you say s? Some other words that start with s are sand and sock. This is the letter T. Here's a capital T and here's a small t. The letter T stands for the t sound in top. Let's say t. Some other words that start with the t sound are ten and tip. This is the letter U. Here's a capital U, and here's a small u. It stands for the sound uh, as in the word uh. Let's say uh, uh. Other words that begin with the uh sound are umbrella and us. It's the letter V. Here's a capital V and here's a small v. It stands for the sound v, as in the word vest. Let's all say v, v. Other words that begin with the v sound are van and vase. It's the letter W. This is a capital W, and this is a small w. The letter W stands for the w sound, as in wagon. Can you say w? w. 
Some other words that have the w sound are wet and wig. It's the letter X, a capital X and a small x. The letter X stands for the k sound, as in ox. Can you say x? X. Some words that end with the k sound are six and box. Now, here's the letter Y. This is a capital Y, and this is a small y. The letter Y stands for the y sound in yarn. Can you say y? Y. Some words that start with the y sound are yes and yam. Here's the letter Z. It's a capital Z. And a small z. The letter Z stands for the z sound in zebra. Can you say z? z? Some words that start with the z sound are zip and zoo. When you get a prize, you can find it in my room anytime. Wait till you see the great puzzles and games and printouts you can win on the island. Want to get a sticker? Click on the map and pick a location. And Clifford, my favorite big red dog. So big, so red, so dog-like. <gasps> Give me a kiss, Clifford, a big kiss. Like he could ever give me a small one. Come on, boy, how about just a big fat lick, hmm? Don't you love Boney? Thanks, Clifford. Pose for me now, okay? I want to paint pictures of you. You are my inspiration. Whoop. Inspiration means Monique can do anything better when her friend Clifford is around. That's right. We'll help you. Click on the letters and drag them to the easel to make any word you want. When you're finished, click on the paintbrush. Terrific! All right, it's posing time, Clifford. Pet. Great! Four more words to go! I can paint that. I am always inspired in big ways when Clifford is around. Cat? Good job! Now let's make three more words. Got a great idea for that word. Okay, Clifford, pose for me. Dog. Only two more words left. It's posing time, Clifford. Duck. Can you make me one last word? P. 
I. G. Pig? Great idea. I am always inspired in big ways when Clifford is around. Pig? Wow, we made some really great pictures. Thanks for letting us help you with your art, Monique. I am always inspired in big ways when Clifford is around. Here's the ticket. These are our neighbors. We call them our grouchy neighbors. Can you read the sign? It says, no dogs. Don't be sad, Clifford. It's not about you. They're just grouches, that's all. Clifford, stop messing up our yard. And stop blocking the sun from our plants. <laughs> Don't cry, Clifford. It's okay to be a big red dog. Our neighbors just shouldn't be so grouchy. This garage is such a mess. We should never have let it go so long without cleaning up. Now it'll take all day to clean up. We won't finish before dark. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Look what you've done! Don't worry, we'll clean up. You will? Yeah, and when we're done, your garage will be in order, and you won't have to work on it all day. How's that? Really? Tell you what, let's make it a game. That way you'll have fun. And we'll get the job done. That would be great. Here's the game. We're going to break each word into parts. For example, if we ask for the mmm ug, you would pick up the mug and place it in the box. Got it? Put the <laughs> n in the box. Cub, cub, can. Cap. Can, cub. Good try. Bring us the <laughs> n. Mop. Cat. That's the cat. Find the cat. Cat. Good try. Bring us the <laughs> N. Can. Cap. Can. Now we're looking for the C at. Cap. Now we're looking for the C of. Mop. Cap. Cub. Cap. Mop. That's the mop. Fine. Cap. Good try. Bring a cub. Can you find the cap? Cap. Mop. Cap. Mop. That's the mop. Fine. Cap. Cap. Can you find the mm. up? Mop. We're done. Thanks for helping us. And thanks to you too, Clifford. You're a good dog after all. Woof, woof, woof. See, now that they know you better, they love you just like I do. Thanks for helping. Here's a ticket for you. Thanks. Let's go have some more adventures. such a bad mood. Lucky is one big crabby dog. Well, not big compared to present company, but he sure is crabby. It's because he's hungry. Well, it is lunchtime. <coughs> That's Clifford's way of saying excuse me. You're excused. Clifford wants to help. He likes to help, especially his friends. Clifford would like to take Lucky's place while Lucky goes to eat lunch. 
dunk the big red dog in the water? We're talking big splash, tidal wave. Please. Well, now okay, but the ocean will never be the same. Here is how you play dunk the dog. First, I blow up some balloons. C, L, I, F, F, O, R, D, Clifford. T, H, E, the. N, O, no. A, N, D, and. When the game starts, you will see balloons like the ones I just blew up. Now, pop the balloon with the word Clifford. That's right. Try to pop the balloon with the word man. That's right. Let's pop the balloon with the word can. Yes. Now, pop the balloon with the word cat. Great job. Try to pop the balloon with the word the. That was super. Let's pop the balloon with the word ran. Nice work. Now, pop the balloon with the word mat. That's right. Try to pop the balloon with the word no. That's right. Let's pop the balloon with the word and. Now, pop the balloon with the word rat. Great job. That big red dog sure makes a splash. Thanks for helping out, Clifford. Here's a ticket for you. See you soon. Hi, Dad. Oh, what's wrong? You look frustrated. I am frustrated. I can't think of any new pictures to put on my t-shirts. It's okay, Dad. I know how it feels. Don't you hate it when you get frustrated? Just be patient and take your time. Whoa. Woof. Yes, Clifford? Clifford, Woof. that's a great idea. Dad, you can put a picture of a cat on a t-shirt. Oh, that's a great idea. Thank you, Clifford. Now that Clifford gave Dad an idea, could you please help him finish the shirt? Just drag the missing letter over to the t-shirt machine, then Dad will pull the lever. Ready? Let's spell the word cat. Make some more shirts. Now let's spell can. Can. Great. Let's make some more shirts. We're trying to spell mat.
mapped. I like that shirt. Let's make another. Let's spell the word man. Mm. Man. Good job. What's next, Clifford? Now let's spell rat. Er. Rat. Good job. We made some terrific t-shirts. That was really fun, and I think Dad really appreciated our help. I sure did. Here's a prize ticket for you. Nikki, be careful. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's dangerous to stand all the way at the top of a ladder? That rule is for other people, not me. Look! See? I have good balance. If I were you, I'd be more worried about riding on top of that big red dog of yours. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? What's going on down there? Kitty, no! Whoa. Ah! Oh, thanks, Clifford. You saved me. You're a very good dog. Oh, no. My ladder is broken. Now how will I get all the letters down? Don't worry. We'll help you get them all down, okay? Clifford will knock the letters down one at a time with his nose. Using the mouse or the arrow keys, move the boxes to catch the letters as they're falling. This is the letter N, and this is the letter T. done. Thanks for helping. You're a good helper. You're a good helper, too. Here's a ticket for you. Thanks. Let's go have some more adventures. Guess who? Click on me to read the book to you. Click on the microphone. If you want to read any book, just click on my bookshelf. That's where all our bonus books will be kept. Emily Elizabeth, I am so glad you could go sailing with me. Hey, little dog, wipe off that frown. You can come too. Yeah, just swim along beside us. And thanks for bringing along some of your famous fish sticks. Oh, look at Clifford. He loves my fish sticks so much, he just can't wait to eat them. Clifford, it's not polite to beg. <laughs> Clifford, honey, oh, thank you. You saved my parrots. Good job, Clifford. You are one big, beautiful <laughs> dog. It sure makes Clifford happy to help people. I don't know what's wrong with that cat. Going after my poor birds when I had all these tasty fish sticks here. And now my poor birds are all mixed up. I don't know how I'll ever put them in order again. Woof! We can help. When you click on a parrot, you will hear what sound it makes. Find another parrot that makes the same sound, and they will fly back to the boat together. W! T, V, T, 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 E, W, 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 E, V, E, 
E. V. V. Well done. Thanks for helping. And thanks to you too, Clifford. You're Loretta's favorite big red dog. Clifford's happy. Hope you're happy too. Here's a reward for you, honey. Click on the prize tickets at the bottom of your screen. Then you can put them in the slot on the claw machine. Once you put six prize tickets in the machine, you'll be able to use the claw to grab a prize. Use the mouse to move the claw right and left. When you want to pick up a prize, click the mouse and the claw will grab whatever present is under it. Can you find your way out? To color this in, first choose a paintbrush or paint bucket. Then you can choose a color. You can also use the patterns and stamps by clicking on them. If you made a mistake, use the eraser to erase anything on the screen that you've drawn. If you want to erase everything you've drawn, click on the broom. When you're done, you can print it out by clicking on the What a great prize! I'm going to keep it in my bedroom. You can click on my toy box anytime to color it or print it out. Leaving already? <laughs> That's okay. Clifford and I have had a great time with you on Birdwell Island today. Be sure to come back soon. We'll miss you!